Hi, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, and welcome to the post-game wrap-up on CalBears.com. Glad you could join us. We'll do this each and every week after the Bears football game. Well, there was a lot of excitement prior to the start of today's game. Obviously, you look at the renovation of Memorial Stadium, a capacity crowd of 63,000 plus. So a lot of people really excited to see what the stadium was all about and certainly what to see what the team was about as well. Here are some of the sights and sound from the fans' perspective prior to the game. comfortable seat which they also did. It's been two years since we've been to a game. We used to have season tickets and this is our first time back so we're excited. This is Nora's first game. Oh it's now earthquake safe and they they kept it looking much, pretty much the same. We got great views from the top and and uh, a lot of good seats. The coolest part is it's so big. It was amazing. I'm so happy to be back home. Glad to have our bears back. It's awesome. Honestly, I think the school spirit is a lot higher now that we have a new stadium, surprisingly. Given that we have, everyone's really anticipating coming here today, I think a lot more people showed up and it was really nice to see that. The concourse is nice and wide, so you can actually walk through it. The stadium is nicer, it looks really good. It's, it's just uh, more updated. It was cool before, but now it compares a lot better with a lot of the other stadiums that we've been to. The biggest thing to me is I love that you can look out from the concourses all, all along here. You can get a view of the bay. I love that I'm comfortable with the seat back. That That is a huge deal because before you always had knees in your back. And uh, I, I'm just so proud that this school honored this old stadium and didn't transform it into some monster. It's just gorgeous. The excitement level was crazy. I uh, walked out the tunnel and I saw all, this, all the fans and uh, First, when I came out in uh, walkthroughs, I saw my dad. That was the first thing I did. I went to go say hi to my dad and my family, my, my grandpa, my uncle. And, um, you know, it was, it was amazing to see how many people support us. Well, a lot of that pregame hype dissipated as the game started itself as Nevada jumped out to a 14 to nothing lead as the Bears could not get anything going offensively in that Nevada offense. The pistol was firing on all cylinders. But in the second quarter, the Bears come to life and make this game very interesting down the stretch. Here are some of the highlights. From the pistol, and Jefferson hit immediately and dropped. Nice play by Chris McCain. Pajardo keeps it, and he's brought down back inside the 10 around the 5. He keeps it himself and is drilled and driven down for a loss. Play back to Allen, trying to get to the corner, cuts it upfield. Keenan Allen makes another man miss. Allen, end zone, touchdown. 39 spectacular yards for Keenan Allen. Looking downfield, Allen was covered, so he goes middle, caught, touchdown. Fake handoff, he'll throw. And Harper with the catch into the end zone, touchdown. You know, it was a hard fought game. You know, a lot of ups and downs through the game, the usual first game. But, uh, you know, the bottom was the better team. They had a lot of big plays today. And, you know, we just didn't have as many as they did. Can't wait to get right back to practice and um, go go again. Um, give it another shot. Um, expectations are still high for the season. Um, temporary setback is what this is going to be right here. It, and we'll learn a lot from this game. And it's an opportunity to, for us to to bounce back, to bounce back from some adversity here and grow as a team and, and make sure that we clean up all the little things that we need to clean up. 
So as you can tell, a lot of disappointment from the players and the head coach with the loss to Nevada, but there's always next week, and the Bears will be back here at Memorial Stadium against Southern Utah. Thanks for joining me. I'll be here each and every week. And, of course, a reminder, midweek we're going to have a mini version of what used to be called the Cal Sports Report that hopefully will be up on Wednesdays each and every week. So stay with us right here on CalBears.com. I'm Todd McKim. We'll see you next week.